Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to the latest London Southeast Focus IR CU interview. I'm joined by George Bennett, CEO at Rainbow Rare Earths, the London listed developer and producer of Rare Earth Metals. And Rainbow Rare Earths have just announced the first successful production of mixed rare earth sulfate from their Falabora front end pilot plant. Greetings, George. It's good to see you as always. Morning, uh, Donald. Good to see you, and hopefully, you've had a good summer in the UK. Yes, we've had a great summer, but you tell me you've been supremely busy and have had no summer at all. No, I've been hard at work um, uh, delivering uh, what I've delivered in terms of, uh, and the team, no, supported by a very, very strong team that we've been able to deliver the announcement that uh, we made uh, yesterday. Let's talk about that announcement. Your front-end pilot plant at Falabora has successfully produced mixed rare air sulfates, proving that it can be done. So tell, tell us more about that. Yes, so Rainbow is basically um, doing something which is quite unique. We're re removing rare earths from uh, phosphogypsum stacks. Now, in South Africa, we have the Palabora stacks, 30 odd million tons of phosphogypsum grading at 0.44% total rare earth oxides. And this is a very high grade uh, stack for rare earths. And we've successfully developed a, a flow sheet, which is now removing the rare earths from the uh, phosphogypsum and creating a mixed rare earth sulfate. Mixed rare sulfate is a great de-risker for Rainbow because it's a saleable product in its own right. It's about 60% payability on the market. So Rainbow, just based on the mixed rare sulfate, now is a standalone project which will be very, very profitable. Okay, uh, which takes us very neatly to the economics. Um, uh, tell, me, tell me the grades that you've been able to extract in, in terms of your, 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 uh, your pilot. And uh, presumably, they helped de-risk the project, as you alluded to. Correct. So um, at, uh, at Pelabor, the front-end pilot plant that we've built at Mintec in South Africa, we've been treating uh, 35 tons of phosphogypsum from the stacks at Pelabor. And as I said, we've just generated the first mixed rare sulfate, grading at 58% uh, uh, rare in the sulfate, which is a very, very high-grade sulfate. And the total TREO in the sulfate uh, is, as I say, com combined to four magnet rivers that we're chasing at Pelabora. Very important to note that the, um, the um, acid consumption and the reagent consumption that we publish in our PEA has been very on, on, in line with producing this mixture of sulfate. And the, the recoveries we've achieved has also been similar to what we alluded to in our PEA, which is circa 65% recovery of the rivers from the phosphogypsum. So I'm pleased to say that our flow sheet we, we publish in terms of the PEA, we are delivering on that flow sheet. And very importantly, we're delivering on our, our OPEX costs and our, and our recoveries, which are very, very key. Because you can often achieve a high recovery in a pilot plant, but that means you, you're you putting in you know 10 times more acid than you alluded to in your PEA just to get your recovery. But in this instance, we're achieving the recoveries based on the, the reagent consumptions and the costs that we um, published in our PEA. So a very important point I was trying to make in my announcement as well. So you must have felt that that busy summer was uh, uh, time well spent. Correct. Very, very, very busy and time well spent, as I say. A lot of support from a very strong technical team. We've been able to uh, to deliver this result for Amber. Okay. And as you said, it, it gives you the capacity to raise revenues as standalone revenues by producing and selling this mixed rare earth sulfate as a, as a standalone commercial product. I mean, that, does that make uh, Falabar and Rainbow viable without even taking it further down the line? I mean, it's quite exciting, isn't it? It does. This makes Rainbow a very, very profitable project uh, as a standalone basis, but we're not stopping there. We're now shipping this mixed rare sulfate to the US and Florida to KTEC Laboratories, where we've built a back-end pilot plant at KTEC. That pilot plant that's been built by KTEC uh, is also owned by Rainbow, and we'll now be using this mixture of sulfate as feed into the back-end pilot plant, which will go on to uh, produce separated rare earth oxides, and that will mean it will capture 100% of the published price of separated rare earth oxides. At the moment, the sulfate's got about 60% payability, but going that one step further downstream and in, in beneficiation, we actually then capture 100% of, of the mixture of sulfate price that's published on the open markets. And very interestingly, in your announcement, you talked about potentially creating a commercial plant in the States to create separated rare earth uh, metals for the American market, indeed for, the, for, the, uh, for the, the Western market. Now, would that benefit from IRA subsidies if it were to go ahead? And 
what would the potential demand be uh, for separated rare earths? Well, Rambo has always said that it wants to be part of uh, developing an independent supply chain outside of China for the West. And this is a further step in getting Rambo there. It's given us the flexibility now because we've built the pilot plant in Florida, the back end of the pilot plant in Florida at KTEC Laboratories. It now gives us the flexibility to actually also look at doing this on the commercial scale in the US as well, in terms of the back end pilot plant. We'll always do the front end in South Africa at Palabora, but it, uh, we've we now have to look at the, the well, we have to look at the advantages of doing this uh, in the US. And we will then look at the IRA tax incentives, as well as um, uh, cheaper funding in the US for the back end. But um, as I said, it, uh, it helps us create this independent supply chain that the US government's been looking to roll out ex-China. And as you know, in our last capital raise, the US government through the DFC, the Development Finance Corporation, who invest and TechMet, which is a, a, a critical minerals fund funded by the U.S. government, invested and now in 12 percent of Rainbow. So we do have the U.S. government as an investor in Rainbow. So this makes sense to look at the back end in the U.S. as well. You mentioned a commercial site that you were looking at. Might that be in Florida? No, it wouldn't probably be in Florida. We'll look at all the states which can give us the best subsidies and which are, are the best position to uh, to for us to situate the pilot plant. But okay. we are evaluating various sites. We've identified one potential site already, but as I said, um, we will we will uh, do further sort of uh, research into this. Okay, moving on. Uh, what's the commercial potential for, for Rainbow's process flow sheet? Uh, we've, we've been talking about this for quite a, a number of years now, and I know you're very proud of it, and, and it's actually it proved to work extremely well. You're in discussions with the Mosaic in Brazil, for example. Um, so what's the commercial potential for the flow sheet? Well, we see a huge uh, opportunity with Mosaic in Brazil. The phosphogypsum stack there is considerably larger than Rain uh, uh, the rainbow stack uh, at Palabora. And we know that the phosphogypsum is uh, created from a source of hard rock carbonatite, which was uh, created the phosphate rock for the phosphoric acid plant that you had at Mosaic, that you have at Mosaic, which is it's identical to what we've got at Palabora. We've got a hard rock carbonatite which created a phosphate uh, slurry, which was fed into a phosphoric acid plant owned by Sassel and created the gypsum residue stack. And I must say the process at Mosaic is, is a carbon copy of the process that was used by Sassel at Palabora. So we're very excited that we know a large part of our flow sheet will be applicable to what we believe will be the opportunity with Mosaic and the Uberaba phosphogypsum stack in Brazil. Okay, my final question for you uh, today, George. What are the next steps for Falabora and Rainbow, if you could look into the future for us? Well, the next steps at Falabora, we, in, in parallel to our pilot plant uh, operations that we've been running, we are, we are completing a definitive feasibility study, which we're still on target to achieve by the end of the first quarter of uh, 2024, uh, beginning of the second quarter of 2024, which will take us into funding for the next six months in uh, 2024. And I'm still hoping to break ground to uh, to start construction of, of the plant at Palabora at the end of 2024 to complete construction through 2025. So that timeline is still on track at this stage. And as you know, Donald, I've, uh, I keep delivering on my promises and I hope to, to deliver on this timeline as well. George, that's absolutely fantastic. Let's, uh, let's uh, end it there. Thank you very much for the latest of Rainbow Update. Uh, it's always great to hear you put the business in context and uh, on a, a really positive note as well today. And if you're an RBW investor, you can discuss this interview on the London Southeast Rainbow Board. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, that's at London Southeast or uh, at underscore focus IR underscore. And if you like this interview, then Google London Southeast YouTube channel and subscribe to receive our video content. Thanks for watching. And as they say in South Africa, do go well.